Hey YouTube, welcome back to Griffin RC Planes. So last week I missed my weekly video which would have been number four. We had some really bad storms here in the Mid-South and um, we, we were lucky compared to north of us in Kentucky. But last weekend was pretty dang scary. For those of you that might not live in the in the Mid-South and, and have to deal with um, you know really bad thunderstorms generally what happens is that the the storm starts somewhere and then the the awesome people at the news stations they do weather tracking you know, they, they track the storm you know in, in this county 45 minutes from now you should be expecting the storm and you know so on and so forth this round of storms there was no starting anywhere they, they just the, where well the where the storm started was where the most damage happened and they just you know dissipated from there there, there was no line of storms traveling in a distance where people could get get warned and at one point here at uh, at headquarters the news mentioned a, a road that was maybe uh, three quarters of a mile from me and they said that has all the evidence of uh, rotation meaning a possible tornado and within two minutes it was just holy heck outside it, it was bad and uh, I was in the bathroom taking cover which is the best place to go if you don't have a basement is in a in a room inside your home preferably in the center that has interior walls all the way around you and the bathtub is you know fairly strong and get in the tub and put something over the top of you you know a mattress if you have time to drag stuff in anything and anyways people north of us caught the worst I, I i hate to hear that and see that and that's just it's terrible however back here with the rc airplane hobby what have i been up to well last the last time i flew i was talking to somebody and this person had been flying for quite a while not nearly as involved in it as i am and I made the comment to him, is your safe on? You know, he, oh yeah, yeah. And, uh, and and then the conversation came up that this person didn't know the difference between AS3X and safe select. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly that on this plane I've built as a complete demo airplane. And another point of my channel is to bring you guys content that is not out there. If uh, you know if I've looked for something for for answers on YouTube and I can't find it and I have since figured it out then that's what I'm gonna bring to you for example this UMX uh, timber right here the propeller came from Amazon for probably 30 cents and there's like 10 of them in a bag for you know less than four dollars delivered that's what one prop will cost you buying it from the manufacturer so that's many of things that I'm gonna bring to you right now I've got a demo plane and we're going to go through what's the difference between AS3X and safe select and how to prepare your airplane for its first flight even if you're wanting to put a safe receiver into like a PNP airplane and you want to make sure it has safe select on it from your very first flight I'm gonna show you how to make sure that's where you're at so alright let me get set up be right back all right guys this is a foam board airplane that i've made for demonstration purposes only one sheet of foam board from the dollar store cut up i took some construction paper and made each control surface a different color so that we can see them operate and i recently met some people that didn't know the difference between safe select and as3x i also met some people that did not know there was a difference E-Flight RC Airplane Brand and Spectrum RC Electronics have come together at Horizon Hobbies and brought us this excellent technology of the AS3X and Safe Select. AS3X is stability control. That's for a smoother flight and for is to fight gusts of wind, stuff like that. Safe Select is actually broken down into two parts safe helps you as a beginner 
it, it helps you as advanced. Uh, I personally love it, and it keeps you from having an accidental crash. It, it keeps you from having too steep of a roll or too steep of a dive. The select portion of safe select is the option to select safe on and off with a switch using one of your channels. Channels are uh, the throttle is channel one, the rudder would be channel two, and using one of your channels, most of the time they're defaulted to channel five, would turn the safe on and off. So right now my airplane is bound up and AS3X, AS3X is not activated and safe, safe flight is selected off. So right now, no movement in the control services will happen at all. AS3X does not become active. Once again, AS3X is for stability control only. It doesn't come active until you give it some throttle. And you, and you don't need to, you, you would first hold the airplane to where the propeller is not gonna touch you. And then you want to give it some throttle real quick and turn it off. And that activates the AS3X. And there's no motor on this one, but we're going to activate it real quick. So I gave it some throttle and pull it back. Now you can, when you do this on your own, you can just do it real quick. You know, as fast as you can. You don't need to watch the propeller start spinning and slow it down. You can just do it real quick. So now the AS3X, AS3X is active and that's only for gust of wind so let's pay attention to the right aileron here colored in green if you're flying along and a gust of wind hits hits the bottom of the wing and pushes it up the aileron went up to counteract it to fight it okay let's look at the red one here on the left see it moving here as well let's watch the elevator here yellow might be kind of hard to see that but let's see if we can see the elevator now see it going up and the blue rudder okay but when AS3X only <coughs> the control service tries to fight counteract the wind or whatever and then it comes right back when you activate safe, which this one is on this switch, so now we're safe is on. Here is the best and easiest way to make sure safe is on before you fly, before you fly, fly. Take your plane and turn it upside down. Look at the ailerons. It is trying to right side the plane. It's trying to get you up and knows it's upside down. So that is a way to check to make sure your safe is on before you fly. Okay, and one more thing before you fly is you want to make sure all your control services with safe turned off that they're all level. Okay, so as the plane is flying, the rudder needs to be level, the elevator needs to be level, both ailerons level. So if you're you know your first battery or your very first flight ever before you take off your airplane is bound up safe is off you set your plane level on the ground if you have a tail dragger plane where it sits like this on the runway you want to put something underneath the back wheel to get the plane level okay and then look at everything your control services are they straight across? Is the rudder straight? Okay, because when it's flying straight and perfectly level, all the control surfaces are level. So before you take off, make sure all that is perfectly level. If it's not, check your trims in your transmitter. Make sure each trim is in the center. If your transmitter is centered, your safe is turned off, then you might have to do some mechanical adjustments right here to make sure they're level before you take off. Okay, and then you give it a little throttle and, and then let it off. 
and make sure the AS3X is going. AS3X is only for the wind. Safe is for safe flight. Select is to turn safe on and off. So then you turn your safe on and check it real quick by flipping the plane upside down. Now you know you have safe and your AS3X and your control surfaces are level. Now go ahead and try your first flight. So there's your difference between the AS3X and safe. I've also built this model here to, to go with a short series of the forward programming. Let's say you buy a plane that doesn't come with a receiver. Some are called a PNP, which plug and play. Uh, I've heard of PNFs, so plug and fly. You know, or you just buy a plane that doesn't have a receiver. I'm going to go through step by step by step how to install a receiver and to make sure that it is perfectly ready to fly with safe just as if you bought it as a bind and fly that had the safe so that you can make your very first takeoff with your new plane with the receiver you put in it and you know that safe is ready and the reason I'm going to do this is because I love helping people and there at the very beginning there were times that I did that and it kept nosing down while I was flying or was turning right you know or, or nosing up and I want to show you guys how to fine tune all the adjustments inside the forward programming to make sure it's going to fly straight and level just as if you bought it with the safe select uh, receiver installed so hey Thank you guys so much. Please click like and subscribe and share and all that stuff. And uh, I hope everything, everybody has a fantastic Christmas. Until the next one, you'll see me here. Thank you.